So welcome to another Fall Guys analysis uh, video, and today we're going to be looking over a round I had, or I won in, in the main so. So, uh, let's get into it. So we're starting off with the whirly gig. And there isn't really much I could tell you over, uh, tell any like, tips while you're going through the first little video there. But, uh, at first while you're going down this big slope here, you want to jump because you will gain speed while you're going down that. Then you want to get hit by the beams, which I'm sure, you, I'm sure you've heard that, uh, technique before. And... Uh, not many people know us, but you can just uh, dive up there onto the higher platform there. I don't see many people doing that. There was one person here, though. And while you're going through here, always make sure to time it correctly. Because it can really mess you up if you don't. So always go on the side that's starting to spin from. And then once you're... Yeah, you have to go all the way to the edge. And then... Uh, and then you have to dive. I almost got first place there, but kind of messed it up. <laughs> Didn't time it quite right. But yeah, you can dive on top of the beam and uh, get ahead of a lot of people by doing it. So now this is the next clip here. From the uh, next round here, we got Seesaw. Uh, there's one uh, technique that can really just completely change uh, your positioning here, especially in early round. And I'm going to do that uh, in here, so you'll see this. I almost got first place by doing it, so it's definitely good. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's pretty well known, but there, there is not too many people that do it, it seems. But basically, just jump at the platform and it will count as a checkpoint. And then you fall and then you will uh, just end up ahead of a lot of people. Other than this one guy and then he just kind of <laughs> slugs along the ground there. <laughs> and then, uh, I mean, I had to take first place from him because it wasn't a very good technique in my opinion. <laughs> I almost get first place in this one, but then, you know, that happens. <laughs> this, I always have problems with this Yidus. It's always very, very annoying. I think, see, I messed up again. We just don't talk about that. <laughs> but this time, I actually get somewhat launched. It's not very good. It was really not worth the time. <laughs> But you cannot do that uh, checkpoint technique on the final uh, platform because it is the finish line, so make sure not to try to do that. So, the next game mode is Big Shots. Uh, basic, I can't tell you much uh, of what to do in this one. I, did, I uh, sped it up here just because of that. Because, <laughs> I mean, there's my time. Two times speed is still. This round takes forever. The only technique that I can uh, tell you is to stand on either side of the second patterned arrow. On either side, like between the cannons. That's the best thing that you can really do. Uh, sometimes uh, objects come flying at you, but they just kind of move to the left or right. But, yeah. There's not much that you can, that I can tell you, so that's why I spun up pretty boring round, especially if people are actually good at the game. But somehow 11 people uh, get eliminated on that round. So the next one is airtime. So there's a uh, there's a few different strategies I can do to this one, or uh, do in this one. And uh, once it loads, one of the strategies is you can jump on either of these drums here to the edges 
Or you could jump down to the platform, ray off the platform, uh, spawning platform there, which is the technique that I use. But if you just want to go for, for something easy, uh, definitely just uh, use the drums, because it can be a little difficult to use the technique that I use sometimes, especially if you get grabbed. But basically stay on this platform and always stand on the side that's towards the circle with the spinning beam. And then when the platform starts flipping, then you want to jump onto the uh, drop Z. I think that's how you pronounce it. But you just want to jump to that. You only have to do it two times if you do it correctly. And it can almost always get you first place unless you mess up, as it does in that round. So and finally, the final round is Hexagon. Now I'm going to be using a strategy that I found on YouTube. Uh, I will credit his uh, video. I want to put his video down in the description of this video. If you want to go check him out. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good technique. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. His name is going to pop up here. Uh, best Fall Guys TVs, or no, <laughs> Best Fall Guys TV, but, uh, this is his technique, I haven't seen it anywhere else, so I'm guessing he made it himself, uh, but I'm going to, again, link his video in the description, so, make sure to go check him out, but it does end up actually getting me to win. Doesn't always do that, and you want to go pretty fast while you're doing this. So if you mess up the technique at any moment, I won't worry too much because, I mean, you shouldn't try to go back and fix it. Mainly because uh, by the time you're like 75% done with the technique, people will probably already be down there on that layer. So you definitely want to do it as fast as possible. But yeah, I messed up a little bit there. But, just don't worry about it too much. But yeah. Uh, your win rate definitely uh, changes depending on how good people are. In this lobby, they were not too amazing. A few people die straight off the bat there. Or two people. And a lot more. <laughs> That is surprising to see. So, uh, thing that you can do while uh, doing this technique is once people start getting down to your lair, uh, you can cut people off. Like, you can kind of cut out like a whole section of the uh, area. Because it's really easy to do it in this uh, strategy. But yeah, just cut people off, make sure they can't reach you. And once you actually have a good area here, then you can just slow down and just take your time. Which I wasn't going as slow as you could. But I knew that people didn't, the other person would not have a lot of time, so. Still got the win. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work every time, but yeah, make sure to go uh, check that guy out. Uh, it's a pretty good technique, doesn't always work, but... It's a better technique than just running around constantly, so. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment, and see you next time.